What up, YouTube? I am Dom Knight. This is Knight Talks, and we are back with another burning question. Guys, I just want to say thank you very much for helping me get to over 200 subscribers. All right. Now, I really appreciate that. It makes me feel great. I'm glad you guys are checking the stuff out. Um, the goal is 250 subs by the end of the year. Big goal, some size, my eyes on the prize. All right. So like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. Okay, guys, I really appreciate all the love and support. All right. Thank you. Now, today's burning question. I thought since, you know, I hit 200 subs and my birthday is on Wednesday that I would do something fun and ask a silly question, okay? Because I've had this conversation a couple of times with people and it's interesting to hear what they say. So the question of the day is, is sex a birthday present? Is it? All right. And, and obviously we're talking if you're in a relationship with somebody. So just like last week, I'm just going to have some fun with this one, guys. I'm just going to flow with this one. So, of course, I got some things written down for you, but we're just going to have a good time. No education, no seriousness. We will. I got some serious burnings lined up. We will get back to the gritty nitty stuff, but we're just going to have fun. All right. So let's do this. OK, so. Is it passable as a gift? Would you say that intercourse is passable as a gift? Well, I think there's factors to consider if we're gonna go that route and have this conversation, okay? So you gotta ask yourself some questions before you answer this ultimate one. How long have you guys been together? If you guys been together two, three months and you know, it's still fresh, that you, and that person, neither of you should be expecting for this extravagant gift, okay? Like, you shouldn't be buying him or her, you know, three, four hundred dollar gift. And you guys been together like two or three months. No, okay? In that instance, I would say, yeah, yeah, shoot. Especially if y'all haven't done it yet. That's a hell of a gift. But at this point, modern relationships, you guys have probably done it. So... But I think it does pass, you know, put a bow on your ass and walk in the room. That's a gift. All right. But we got other questions. All right. But if you guys have been together for two, three, four, five years, would you be happy if on your birthday, your partner walked in the room with a bow? Just saying. Is it a milestone birthday? If it's a milestone, 21, 18, 21, you know, 25, I guess, 30, you know, 50. I think, you know, those are some big ones that kind of deserve some form of a celebration, right? Um, 16, you know, ages like that. I think those deserve some form of a celebration or maybe a special kind of gift, you know, because this only happens one time in life. You only turn 16 once, you only turn 18 once, 21. 30, you know, 50. Hello, it was his 50th birthday. Whatever. I think in those instances, it's nice to maybe take the extra mile and do something special for that person. But yet again, the first question comes into play. How long have you guys been together? You know, you guys been together for a while though. I think you should be celebrating a milestone birthday in a not necessarily a big way but you know in an above average way all right so what did you get them for their birthday if you guys have been together to go through one person's birthday and the other did you get them a cheap gift or something mediocre average did you give them sex as a gift you know if you kind of went small time on your gift and everybody's different, but some people will factor in what kind of gifts you're going to get on your special day, depending on what kind of gifts you got them on their special day. So if you got them something whack, sex might have to suffice. They might be like, hey, I ain't get you nothing. Or I got you a car with no money in it. 
<laughs> you know, they might, hey, some people are better like that. You know, some people take that into consideration. Whatever it may be, that matters. I think it does. I think a lot of people get really upset when they expect their partner to do something special for them on their special day, birthday, Valentine's Day, anything like that, and they fall short. I, especially you ladies, guys are a lot more simple, but you ladies definitely, definitely get mad when dudes drop the ball when it comes to birthdays and stuff like that, all right? Is the person you're with materialistic? Now listen, some people, they don't care about getting gifts or people giving them things. Some people do. Some people, you know, like nice fancy stuff, they like expensive stuff, they like getting new stuff, and they expect you to feed into that when it's time to give a gift. You gotta know who you're with. If the person you're with is on the high maintenance side, they're absolutely not gonna take sex as a birthday gift, especially if it's a woman, okay? Definitely not gonna take sex as a birthday gift. Um, and there's guys like that too. Guys want, I know dudes who be asking their girls for Christmas for brand new Jordans and, and, and gaming consoles, like expensive ass gifts, yo, crazy. I'm like, dang, you asked that, you asked that from your girlfriend? Y'all been together one year? Yeah, okay. Um, but that matters, man. That's going to play into it, whether it's a passable as a gift or not. All right. Next one. Did they ask you for something? If she was like, hey, babe, you know, my birthday is coming up and I really want to, you know, go to this place and do this. Or I want a new pair of AirPods or I was looking at these shoes, whatever it may be. If she asks you for something specific and you can afford it, it's in your price range, just get it. You know, if she's good, if she's special to you, if she... Or he, same thing goes, same. This this applies to both genders right now. Um, if that person is good to you and they're appreciative and they make you feel special when it's your time to feel special and they ask you for something, I think you should just do it. That's just me. So if you have a person like that and they've been good to you and treating you with respect and when it's time for you to have your moments, they hook you up, make you feel good, I think you should, you know, reciprocate that energy so i i mean I, I think most would say it's not passable as a gift in that situation last question i'm gonna ask about passability what is their financial situation i think if your partner is going through some hard times money they might have just lost a job might have got hours cut you know could uh, expenses come up, car broke down, you know, so they had to spend four, five, six hundred dollars on that, you know, anything can happen, you know, where a financial situation can't come into play and affect the type of gift you can give someone. So if they're going through a rough time monetarily, I think you should be sympathetic to that. And if they're like, listen, babe, all I could afford to give you this birthday was this ass. But guess what? I'm going to put it on you crazy. We about to light candles, dim the lights, put some music on. I'm going to rub you down first with the oils. You know, she going to hook it up. Shoot, that's a nice gift. You know, she come at it from that angle. Not just some basic, you know, everyday booty. She hit you with that special booty, like special occasion booty. So that's got to come into consideration. Same thing goes for the ladies. If he's like, listen, babe can't afford to get you that bag you wanted but guess what i'm about to put the plum in the, put the plum in the work and make sure these pipes is is doing what they supposed to do and you know i'm gonna set the mood and all that i'm gonna cook you dinner whatever you know i think if you set it up right in a given situation it can be passable especially if you know the person's hard up for cash at the moment now this question is definitely going to vary by gender. Let's talk about the men first. Men would like most men, most, I'm not going to say all, most men would accept an above average version of intercourse as a birthday gift. Like I said, if she dressed it up in the way I was just talking about, 
I think your average guy would take it. Men just don't care as much. Men don't really necessarily care about getting gifts. Your average guy, like I said, some guys are like, hey, I expect this. Like I said, I know dudes asking their girls for some crazy stuff on Christmas, birthday and stuff. So when it comes to men, though, especially a guy who's, you know, been married a while and the bedroom fun ain't as hot as it once was and he don't get it every day. This man is likely going to be like, yo, she going to hit me with that good booty on my birthday. Let's go. I, that just sounds like a terrible life, but it is what it is. Now, let's talk about the ladies, though. Let's keep it real. Nine out of ten of you ladies, if your man came to you and was like, yeah, I'm about to give you this good D for your birthday, you'd be like, uh-huh, that and what else? Y'all know you expect your man to hook you up on your birthday. All right, especially if y'all been together a while, especially if some of the questions I asked earlier applied to you, the situation, you're going to expect him to come through and at least, at least take you to dinner, at least take you somewhere you want to eat at minimum. That's a minimum requirement. You got to at least take me somewhere to eat. Even if you give me a nice gift, take me out to dinner, give me a reason to dress up. And, you know, that's just memories made and bonding time for you guys in the form of a date, you know, especially if you guys been together a while, you don't get to go on dates that much because you got kids and stuff like that. You know, the birthday dinner, always good, always good. So men and women are definitely going to differ there. OK, because women hold access to sex. If a woman wants sex, she can get sex. So sex is a present for her is not something extravagant. Whereas for a man, it can be. In a lot of instances, it is even inside of a relationship. Not a relationship I'd want to be in, but there are some like, so I'm going to keep this short for y'all. All right. I'm going to go ahead and answer the question. So the answer of the day is I'm going to say no. Okay. I'm going to say sex is not a birthday present. And let me explain why. The reason it's not is because I don't think sex should be a special occasion conditional thing given out in a relationship. Sex is a normal part of a relationship. Sex should be happening on a regular basis. I'm not saying it has to be every day or even every other day, but you guys should be having sex at least two, three times a week. All right. And, and I'm sorry. And that goes for older married couples too now all right if you're old old okay but you know if you're in your 40s i'm sorry y'all should still be having sex regularly all right especially because women hit their sexual peak around there um it should not be something that's oh special occasion only here you go it's not eggnog dude <laughs> you know what i mean um now, like I said, there's circumstances that go into play where maybe that's all you can give. Like I said, but the only one I really think that applies is the financial situation. Uh, if the money is just not there, it's not there. All right. And that's cool. And I'm not saying gifts have to be this extravagant, extravagant, expensive thing. But like, dude, if, if my girl bought me a, a, a $14 Star Wars Funko Pop or a Marvel or something like that, an anime, I'd be happy with that. You know what I mean? She thought about me. It's the thought that counts. You know what I'm saying? It's like you acknowledge, hey, it's your birthday, it's your special day, and I got you something that you like that's personal to you. Okay? So, I am Dom Knight. This is Night Talks. Guys, I want you to drop in the comments what you think about this and let me know what you think. And if you think it's a birthday present, tell me what I got right, tell me what I got wrong. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content, all right? Hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. Throw the social medias right there for you. And guys, I'm on vacation next week, so my schedule's gonna be a little bit off, so I will be back That's when nice I'm up. back. Rack it up, Peace. rack it up, I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up, she got her hands on her knees and she bringing a cake out. Smoke it up, smoke it up, I got some gas, some packs, I'm up in the greenhouse. Ball it up, ball it up, I'm with the gang, we taking shots off the rebound. Fucking my post to say now, I've been humble too long, yeah. Tell them all to stay calm, yeah. Tell them all to move on, yeah.